So in this video, I want to talk about this new update that they did. They added this skill set aptitude feature, which lets you get some extra bonus stats by upgrading your renegades. And they also added, so this is a skill set feature that gives you extra stats. And then there's this aptitude feature that lets you upgrade your renegade skills to make them even stronger. Uh, so let's take a look at the skill set feature first. So currently the skill set feature is only available for these five renegades, Lanching, Celeste, Jer, Devil Ray, and Megalodon. And to upgrade this feature, you need to have the skill set codex. You can either buy these packs. This $5 pack gives you 1300 codex. You can get them from mercenaries from the renegade store and also from uh, the Season Conquest achievements as well as the Season Conquest events. So the Renegade Store is also a new feature that they added where I think you can uh, sell your extra purple and golden Renegade fragments to get coins and then you can redeem these items. So you can get these skill set codex which are used to upgrade your Renegade skill sets and then these gold aptitude encyclopedias which can be used to upgrade your renegade skills. So to see more information about the skill set codex, you can click on this view details and you can go to your renegades and here you'll find this renegade skill set option. If you open this, you'll see all the different uh, skills that you can upgrade. So for example, for Jer, you can upgrade shooter health. Uh, the first level gives you 2% shooter health and it costs 130 codex, but you need to have Jer at one star to be able to upgrade this. Then there's a shooter attack and shooter damage. So pretty good stats in my opinion. And then you have all of these other stats. There is increased renegade damage dealt to enemy bulkers when this renegade is leading an ops. So this stat only works when this renegade is leading an ops because it says right here. However, these stats work even if the renegade is not leading an ops. So these are passive stats because it doesn't mention here when this renegade is leading an ops. So this is what the renegade skill sets look like. Uh, then at two stars you unlock even more skills that you can upgrade at three stars you unlock more skills four stars at four stars you get ops capacity which is also passive and you get raid capacity which is also passive and then at five stars you basically get this which increases renegade attributes all renegade attributes when this renegade is leading an ops so that is for jer uh, you can also take a look at Lanching, Celeste, and all these others. Lanching gives you 25% vehicle health at max level, 25% vehicle attack, and 25% vehicle damage. And then for Ops Capacity, you can get 5,000 Ops Capacity from Lanching and 10,000 Raid Capacity. In fact, all of these Renegades can give you 5,000 Ops Capacity and 10,000 raid, raid Capacity each if you max them out. Uh, however, for the health attack and damage, Lanching gives you vehicle health attack damage, Celeste gives you bulker health attack damage, Jer gives you these stats for shooters, Devil Ray gives you biker stats, and Megalodon gives you bulker stats. So that is how the skill codec feature works. The next feature is a renegade aptitude feature. This feature basically upgrades your regular renegade skills to something slightly better. However, currently you can only upgrade Jer's skills in the game. So this feature is only available for the Renegade Jer. No other Renegade has this feature yet, but I'm sure they'll add this feature for more Renegades soon. So if you take a look at these skills, for example, the first skill says deals one special damage to two enemy two random enemy crew member classes. This is the old skill. And the new skill says it deals one special damage to two random enemy crew member classes with the highest numbers. So now instead of targeting any random uh, troop types, they're gonna target the classes that have the most troops in them. So for example, if you're using 100,000 tier 10 bulkers and 300,000 tier 10 bikers, and only like 20,000 tier 8 bikers, 
then the tier 10 bulkers and the tier 10 bikers will be targeted before the tier 8 bikers. So this upgraded version of the skill basically allows Jair to target the classes that have the most number of troops in them first. The second skill actually doesn't make much sense because it's basically the same skill. However, the only thing that changes is this exhaustion effect. This exhaustion effect is replaced with this extreme exhaustion effect. And the exhaustion effect over here says that it reduces your own strength and physique attributes by 10 points. So your attributes are going down by 10 points. So you would think that, okay, if the old skill reduces my attributes by 10 points, then maybe the new skill should reduce my attributes by five points to make it better, right? However, here it says, reduces your own strength and physique attributes by 20 points. So you're losing more strength and physique. So it literally doesn't make sense in my opinion. I guess the developers just finished doing cocaine right before coming up with this upgraded version of this skill. Now the third skill, it says it increases, temporarily increases your technique attributes by 15% for three rounds. And the upgraded version increases your technique attribute by 25 points for three rounds. So in my opinion, you should upgrade the first and third skill if you're going to do the upgrades, but it doesn't make sense to upgrade the second skill because the new version of the second skill is literally worse than the old version. Now, how much do these upgrades cost? Well, you can buy these uh, encyclopedias for $100. So you get 1,000 encyclopedias for $100. And if you wanna upgrade the first skill, it's going to cost you 1,000 encyclopedias, which is $100. If you wanna upgrade the second skill, it's gonna cost you 2,000 encyclopedias, which is $200. And if you wanna upgrade the third one, it's gonna cost you 5,000 encyclopedias, so it's $500. So in total, to upgrade all three skills, it's gonna cost you $800, and that is just for one Renegade. So if they add this feature for more Renegades, it's gonna be $800 per Renegade, which is pretty insane. So I think that's all there is to this new update. This update is gonna be a really expensive update because yes, while launching skills can be upgraded for free pretty much, the skills of the other Renegades are gonna be really expensive to upgrade because in order to unlock their skills, you have to first get all of these Renegades to five stars and then upgrading their skills will cost these codex, which you can get for free by attacking mercenaries. You get exactly two codex per mercenary that you kill. So if you kill 200 mercenaries in a day, you'll get 400 codex daily. And you also get a bunch from the season event, so you'll get a decent amount of skill codex. However, it's probably not gonna be enough because the high level skills really cost a lot of codex to upgrade. For example, this one costs 2000 codex just for one upgrade and that is just the first level. And this skill has four levels. So you're gonna have to do this upgrade four times and every time you do the upgrade, its cost is gonna go up. So that's pretty much all there is to this update. In my opinion, if you're doing these upgrades, you should focus mostly on these passive stats because the passive stats will apply even when you're not using Renegades in your march. However, if you are using any of the five Renegades that are here, then you should focus on their active stats as well because those active stats will help you in real battles. So for example, if I was using Lanching and Lanching was actually doing a lot of damage, then I would work on Lanching's active stats. If I'm using Megalodon, then I would work on Megalodon's active stats and so on. So that is my opinion on this new update. If you have any questions about this update, then leave them in the comments down below. Before I end this video, I'd like to thank all of my patrons for the support. To support me, you can find my Patreon link in the description below. Thanks for watching the video guys, and I will see y'all in the next one.